President Muhammadu Buhari has reaffirmed his commitment to the development of culture as he pledges to strengthen historical value and background of different tribes in the country. This was hanged down by Nigerian ambassador to the United Kingdom, who represented the president at formal restitution ceremony of the Benin artifact to the Palace of Benin. The Benin Kingdom of Edo State was thrown into total ecstasy as it witnessed the return of some artifacts by Cambridge University and the University of Aberdeen, Scotland, that was carted away by the British. This artifact, which was carted away by, uh, to different parts of the world, 1897 invasion of the Palace of the Oba of Benin, is being received by the original owners. The signing of uh, the deeds of transfer by the concerned parties signify ends to the quest of Benin Kingdom for the restitution of some of its bronze work that was carted away over hundreds of years ago. The formal return of historical artworks to Bikini Kingdom signifies a breakthrough in the desire of Nigerians and indeed Africans to repossess the African artworks currently domiciled outside their places of origin. The Oba of Benin Oba Enwari II expressed appreciation to the return of this artwork to the palace and assured that it will improve the economy of the state and the country by creating employment to the youths of the state. We once again express our sincere appreciation to the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari GCFR. I would like to invite the appropriate authorities in Europe and other parts of the, of the world to partner with us in creating development programs for our youth in Benin Kingdom and Nigeria in general. Also speaking at the event, dignitaries and some members of the kingdom describe the occasion. We are happy and uh, extremely happy to be here to share this day with my brother and others around us. Culture and tradition make an empire. And whoever knows the history of Benin Kingdom knows how strong and how virile the culture and tradition is. So bringing back these artifacts at this time is a welcome development. So it's a great day for us, and for me, the, my takeaway is that time does not correct what was wrong. If you stole what does not belong to you, even over a hundred years, it remains a stolen property. And the only way to make up for it is to return it to the owner, and that has been done today in the case of this particular artwork, and I'm happy. And I hope that the the other items all over the world will be similarly returned to the great palace uh, of the great Bidu Kingdom. I'm here representing the Niger Delta as the minister to witness this epoch-making occasion. We don't want to remember, like the other said, the events that culminated in the disposition of the people of Bini Kingdom, of those artifacts, but we want to rejoice that over 100 years after, things are beginning to happen. A very historic and uh, emotional location. You know that uh, the Benis have uh, a long history. So I believe that today for many Benis, probably the older ones, and of course, the upper, who represents uh, the soul of the Bini Kingdom. It's a very emotional moment, very touching, and very reassuring. This is in my, in my own life, this is my most happy day, the happiest day of my life. That what uh, they took from the Bini land has been brought back to Bini. Well, I'm very excited, I'm very happy. Uh, when this happened, that these artifacts were taken out from here in 1897 during the invasion, it was a dark, it was a dark day for Benin Kingdom. But several years later, several years later, as we are here now, you discover that these artifacts are finding their way back here. 
I'm happy because history is being made, and I'm happy because it's happening during my time as chairman of cultural and tourism. Lusahari Guma reporting.